Hello. The next DAC configuration that we're going to look at is that of an R2R ladder DAC. Um, it has similar operation to the linear combiner DAC uh, in the sense that it also uses a linear combiner at the output uh, formed by that op amp and that RF resistor. Uh, but instead of having um, all those inputs connected by resistors of value R all the way to 2 to the n minus 1 times R, uh, now what we have is essentially an R to R ladder, which is just comprised of uh, several um, resistors of value R uh, in series and 2R in shunt uh, connected to ground, or in this case connected to uh, through those switches to the reference voltage minus V ref. Um, notice that my switches are being controlled by my digital input. My digital input word is in essence B1, B2, all the way through Bn. B1 being my most significant bit again, and uh, Bn being my LSB, or my least significant bit. Um, and uh, notice that uh, if I draw the thevening equivalent, if I calculate the thevening equivalent for my R to R ladder, uh, what I end up with is an equivalent circuit that looks as follows. Uh, my linear combiner circuit uh, with the feedback resistor RF, a series resistor R, and uh, an input voltage, which is essentially my VREF voltage uh, multiplied times uh, the different bits and with each bit associated with a different uh, weight, which is a power of two. And so it will be starting from my most significant bit, which is the last one here. I will have VREF times uh, B1 divided by two. Uh, for Bn minus one, I will have VREF times Bn minus one divided by two to the n minus one and B ref Bn divided by 2n. So in other words, if I were to rewrite this expression um, and just take V ref, v ref out of the equation, my input will be equal to negative V ref. Um, and I'm going to turn it around so that we see it clearly. Uh, my most significant bit, B1, 2 to the negative 1, plus b n minus 1, 2 to the n minus 1, plus b n, 2 to the n, sorry, 2, two to the negative n minus 1, uh, plus b n to the negative end. So this is what I will end up with. So notice that uh, my most significant bit has the highest weight, my least significant bit, Bn, has the smallest weight, 2 to the negative n. Um, again, since this is a linear combiner circuit, I can calculate my output voltage as being equal to um, uh, negative Rf divided by R times that input voltage, which is a function of the reference voltage. Uh, my minus at the input, minus V ref, will cancel out with the other negative, and so I will end up with uh, RF divided by R times V ref times V1 2 to the minus 1 plus dot 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 Vn minus 1 2 to the negative n minus 1 plus Vn 2 to the negative n. So this is my output voltage, similar to what we had before. Um, notice that my full scale uh, voltage in this case is going to correspond uh, whenever my expression within those parentheses uh, is equal to one, or this expression right here is equal to one, which it's never going to happen until uh, n reaches infinity, so it's going to 10 towards 1, uh, get closer to 1, the closest n gets to infinity or the higher the n value. So my VFS will be equal to then RF divided by R times VREF. Notice that this is a half of what we have for the standard linear combiner circuit. My uh, least significant bit, one LSB, 
is equal to uh, BFS divided by 2 to the n, or RF uh, times VREF divided by R times 2 to the negative n. And this is also um, uh, twice the size, or excuse me, half the size of that for um, the linear combiner. So BFS and 1LSV are half uh, those of linear combiner DAC. The advantages of this circuit with respect to the linear combiner is that it avoids the large resistance spread. Notice that all my resistors are going to be R or 2R. And so especially as my number of bits becomes larger, uh, that becomes an important advantage. But also there are more resistors needed than with the standard linear combiner tag.